Hi, good day. So, uh, firstly, let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Madan Pillay. I come with uh, about uh, 35 odd years of experience in various shipping activities. Uh, to briefly tell you what are those activities, my experience is in, is in uh, vessel handling, in uh, clearing and forwarding, in uh, freight forwarding, NVOCC, chartering, marine insurance and so, uh, part of uh, maritime law uh, rules and regulations. Now, uh, let me expand a little further on what are all these activities. Uh, firstly, you have got something called vessel handling or vessel operation. When the ship comes to the port, you got a lot of formalities connected with customs and port and cargo clearance. All that is clubbed under what we call vessel handling or vessel operation. That's one activity. The second activity is uh, when you handle a ship, there are two types of ships. Ships which come irregularly once in a while which are called tramp vessels. The other types of vessels which come regularly which are called liner vessels. Handling those vessels and for liner vessel there is another aspect altogether. You got to market for cargo. You got to get cargo. Uh, liner vessels are basically container uh, cargo, containerized cargo. So you got to get cargo, you got to market it. It's a whole new aspect to it. So that is another activity which is uh, the commercial part of handling a ship. Then you have freight forwarding and NBOCC. These are the people in between the uh, exporters, importers and the shipping lines. They also canvas cargo, they put it in the container, uh, some of it will be owned by them, some of it will be hired and these are the people in the middle, freight forwarders. Then you got container freight stations and depots. Container freight stations are where exim cargo is handled under custom supervision with a all security of a wall and all around it. What is a depot? Where empty containers alone are stored and repaired. Then you got marine insurance, insurance for the cargo, insurance which the shipping lines, uh, ship owners have that is called PNDI insurance, very really special type of insurance. Then you got chartering. What is chartering? It is basically uh, hiring of a vessel, like you hire a car or a flat. You hire a vessel on a short term or a long term basis. And that's called chartering, it's the advanced stage of uh, shipping. And then you got uh, clearing and forwarding, which is, uh, you know, uh, these are done by customs brokers who are licensed by customs who clear, export and import cargo. And then finally you have uh, shipping laws. There are various rules and regulations which govern shipping like right from 100 years ago down to the present age. All these activities put together are what we call, uh, we come under the heading shipping. And this is what we will be covering. Thank you.